Welcome back to Simplifying Synthesis. In this video, we're going to look at the total synthesis of inelegantalide. This work was published by the Stoltz Group in JAX in their paper, A Convergent Total Synthesis of Inelegantalide. This compound was first isolated in 1999 by Du and co workers from the Formazan soft coral. Singularia in elegance. Initial studies show that it has activity against leukemia, but comprehensive studies of its bioactivity have yet to be carried out. The unique structure of this compound has attracted a lot of attention from the chemistry community, with many groups working towards its total synthesis. This milestone was first achieved in 2022 by the Wood Group. It was accomplished using a strategy involving a transannular microreaction, a Nozaki Hiyama Kishi cyclization and a furan oxidation oxymichael cascade. Inelegantalide has quite a complex structure, consisting of a fused 675 carbocyclic core, which is part of a pentacyclic structure. This structure contains nine stereocenters, eight of which are contiguous. The strategy that Stoltz Group use in this synthesis has taken more than 20 years to develop and features several highly creative and unexpected transformations. These include a semi pinnacle rearrangement, an allylic transposition, and an aldol cyclization cascade. So let's look at how they finally synthesize this incredibly challenging molecule. This started with the synthesis of a previously reported silyl protected cyclopentene aldehyde. This underwent a cyclopropanation reaction with dibromomethane and n buley This undergoes a lithium halide exchange, generating a nucleophile that attacks the aldehyde and the resulting lithium alkoxide intermediate undergoes an intramolecular SN2 reaction to displace the bromide and generate the epoxide in a 72% yield. The silyl groups were then deprotected using TBAF and the secondary alcohol was selectively protected using TBS chloride. This is quite a bulky protecting group and therefore does not react with hysterically hindered tertiary alcohol. Taking this compound forward, it was then reacted with magnesium iodide. The magnesium first coordinates to the epoxide, making it more electrophilic and the iodide can then attack at the less sterically hindered centre. The secondary hydroxyl group was then protected as a TES group using TES chloride, once again with the selectivity arising from steric hindrance. In the next step, the remaining hydroxyl group was deprotonated with sodium hydride, and the resulting alkoxide underwent an intramolecular SN2 reaction to displace iodide and form a new five-membered ring in a 98% yield. The reaction of the product with PPTS selectively deprotected the TES group, leaving the TBS group intact. In the next step, the newly revealed hydroxyl group was oxidized using a swirin oxidation. Dimethyl sulfoxide first reacts with oxalyl chloride, eliminating chloride that can then act as a nucleophile towards the sulfonium center. This forms a sulfonium chloride upon the elimination of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and chloride. The sulfonium chloride is then attacked by the hydroxyl group, which eliminates chloride. Triethylamine then deprotonates the molecule, and the resulting intermediate can undergo an intramolecular deprotonation, forming the carbon oxygen double bond upon the elimination of dimethyl sulfide. This product was then reacted with hydrofluoric acid to deprotect the TBS group and complete the synthesis of fragment 1 in an 81% yield. The synthesis of fragment 2 started with the S nor carvone. This was first reacted with cerium trichloride and a lithium enolate. The cerium coordinates to the oxygen and increases the selectivity for nucleophilic attack at the carbonyl centre in preference to conjugate addition at the 4 position. The resulting allylic alcohol then took part in an oxidative 1,3 allylic transposition. The reaction of the compound with tempo tetrafluoroborate first produces the tempo adduct of the hydroxyl group. The alkene then undergoes a migration upon attack of the oxygen atom present on the tempo molecule. This alkene migration breaks a carbon-oxygen bond and the resulting tempo intermediate can deprotonate the molecule, oxidizing it to a ketone in a 68% yield. The ester was then hydrolyzed using potassium carbonate and methanol to generate the target carboxylic acid. This acid could then undergo an esterification reaction with fragment 1. This reaction proved to be quite challenging as the alpha proton of fragment 1 is quite acidic and the enone system of fragment 2 is very susceptible to Michael addition. 
Because of this, the common methods to form esters all failed. But the group was able to develop a method that used triphenylphosphine oxide and oxalyl chloride to successfully form the ester. The triphenylphosphine oxide first reacts with oxalyl chloride, forming an electrophilic chlorophosphonium salt that is first attacked by the acid. This activates the acid, making it more electrophilic, and the secondary alcohol can then attack, forming the ester in an 87% yield upon the elimination of triphenylphosphine oxide. With this ester now formed, the molecule underwent a rather remarkable cyclization. It was first heated to 120 degrees and then DBU was added. It is proposed that this first deprotonase molecule at the position alpha to the ester, forming a conjugated enolate that then undergoes an intramolecular Michael addition, forming a five-membered lactone ring. Deprotonation of this alpha position once again forms an enolate, which this time directly attacks the carbonyl centre to form a six-membered ring. The proton present in this ring, alpha to the ketone, is then deprotonated by DBU, and the resulting conjugate epoxide is then reprotonated at carbon 12. This protonation preferentially happens on the less sterically hindered convex face of the molecule. This cyclization reaction is rather extraordinary as it formed two new rings and set the stereochemistry of four stereocenters all in a single step, forming the product in an 84% yield as a single isomer. With this cyclization now complete, the newly formed alcohol was protected as a TES group and was then taken forward to a reduction elimination step. The molecule was reacted with samarium iodide, which first reduces the carbon carbon double bond of the enone and then coordinates to the TES protected hydroxyl group. This promotes an E1 elimination, where the oxygen is first eliminated, forming a stabilized tertiary carbocation, and then the proton, alpha to the ketone, eliminates, forming an enone in a 63% yield. This product could undergo a very unusual oxidation. The researchers discovered that it could be oxidized by reacting it with base in the presence of air. They propose that the triplet oxygen present in the air can abstract a hydrogen atom and the resulting species can undergo a radical recombination to form a peroxyacetal intermediate. Deprotonation by DBU generates a peroxide that can undergo conjugate addition into the enone system and the resulting enolate and then intramolecularly attack the dioxetane ring, forming an epoxide, together with the hemiacetal, in a 67% yield. In the next step, the hydroxyl group of the hemiacetal was acetylated using acetic anhydride and DMAP in an 85% yield. This electron-withdrawing acetate was required for a semi pinnacle rearrangement. The compound is reacted with samarium iodide, which first coordinates to the epoxide, opening the ring to leave a radical residing on the alpha position. This radical then reacts with another equivalent of samarium iodide, which reduces it further to form an anion, which is rapidly protonated by water present in the reaction mixture. The samarium, coordinated to the alkoxide, can also coordinate to the acetate group, activating it as a leaving group and allowing for a semi pinnacle rearrangement to occur. The carbon carbon bond, alpha to the ketone, migrates to this position as the acetate is eliminated, forming the central seven membered ring. And finally, completing the synthesis of inelganolide after more than 20 years of research. So now, let me take a moment and tell you a bit about the sponsor of today's video, Brilliant. Brilliant is a website and app that offers a wide variety of math, science and engineering courses. These courses range from the very basic fundamentals all the way up to advanced topics. Something that I really like about the Brilliant platform is the visual approach it takes to problem solving. Their lessons are interactive and this allows you to build an intuitive understanding in a way that simply reading about the topic can't. To try everything that Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, please visit brilliant.org slash simplifying synthesis. The first 200 viewers to sign up will get a 20% discount off Brilliant's premium annual subscription. So head on over to brilliant.org slash simplifying synthesis to check it out. Well that brings us to the end of a rather remarkable synthesis. Join me in the next video where we will look at the total synthesis of malatinin C and E.